Hey everybody and happy holidays. Today's video is about making these super, super simple holiday cookies. Now, let me just say, I'm not a professional. I don't do this professionally. I do this for fun and I want you to know that you can too. A couple of things. Number one, these cookies are imperfect. They're not perfect. In fact, that's the number one thing <laughs> and the only thing. You don't have to throw away your cookies that are messed up. Serve them to your friends and family. Take them to that potluck. This is all about being able to do this. And I'm only using a few different colors. So get your stuff out. I'll link below what I have. And um, yeah, <laughs> let's get making some cookies. I like to put down a piece of parchment paper or wax paper on my surface. And then of course you need some awesome cookie cutters. And they don't even have to be Christmas related. Get your rolling pen, your dough, and of course some flour. Now, flour the surface so that your cookie dough doesn't stick. This is important, trust me. You don't want them to stick, especially if you have intricate designs. Now, I get a lot of questions about how to roll out the dough. The best thing I say is just try it and then roll it in the direction you want your dough to go. This dough was made um, a couple of days before, so it's a little bit chilly, but that's okay because we can still make it work. It'll warm up in your hands or as you're doing it. Now let's say you don't have the correct cookie cutters. I could not find my Christmas cookie cutters and so I wanted to make a Christmas tree. So here's a fun little thing that I did and a little trick for you. Basically, dough spreads and comes together when you cook it. So make the design you want out of some other cookie cutters you have. Here I took two triangles to make a fun little Christmas tree. This gives you an idea of something you can do. Be creative, make something of your own, and then I'll show you what these look like once I bake them. And why not just keep rolling out dough? Because who doesn't love to see dough being rolled out? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you have little pieces that get in the way, but whatever. So I like to dust my cookie cutters with a little bit of flour just to prevent them from sticking. Um, notice this heart is not really Christmas or holiday for that matter. It's Valentine's Day, right? But what if you don't have any Christmas stuff or any kind of holiday stuff? Use what you have. You can make something amazing or festive or whatever. So that's the key here. Use what you have. So I'm going to bake these cookies in a 400 degree oven for somewhere between seven and nine minutes. The goal is to have them just brown on the bottom and not on the edges. However, sometimes we do kind of overcook the edges. That's okay, keep those cookies, don't throw them away. This is not for you know a professional job that you're sending off and getting paid for. This is for you to make for your friends and family. They will be impressed even with the dark edges. Trust me. So keep your cookies. Just use this as a learning moment. Watch your oven to see how long you actually need to bake them for and then write that down so you know. Okay, now to the fun part or not so fun part, my least favorite part, but the necessary part. We're going to make icing. So I've already made my batch of royal icing and now I'm going to color it. This is the part where it takes a little bit of finessing and time. <laughs> you wanna get your colors right and in the proper consistency. So you wanna start with just a few drops, mix it, see what happens. If you need more, add more. It's much easier to add more color than it is to take color out. So just start small, work your way up until you get the color that you would like. So here I'm going to use a combination of some colors because I didn't have any orange food coloring. So just, you know, work with what you have. And I'm just going to put a little bit, a little bit, and kind of tweak it until I get the color that I like. Also, notice that occasionally I will add a little bit of water to my icing. This is so that I can work towards the consistency that I want. Again, with water, little by little, like a teaspoon or less at a time. A little bit goes a long way. Now 
If you'd like to see more about how I put my icing and piping bags, let me know and I'm happy to make a video showing that. For now, here you go. So I like to ice by color and then by layer. So often when decorating cookies, you will layer your designs. So think about that ahead of time. For these, I decided to just go ahead and start with my white. Another thing, I do like to start with white. I don't know, I just do. You'll notice that I am outlining and then I'm filling in. So for these, I actually used two different consistencies, piping consistency and flooding consistency. So here I wanna show you what it actually looks like to pipe icing onto a cookie. Notice that the tip does not touch the cookie. You want to leave a little bit of room and this gives you more control. I'll show you one more time. Now do you see that little ugly spot in the corner of this cookie? I bet you didn't even notice it. And now that the icing is covering it up, neither will your people. So that's what I mean. Don't throw away your mess up cookies. You can fix it, you can cover it up, and it all tastes the same. People will love them. Now for these types of designs, this is wet on wet. It's wet icing on wet icing. So keep that in mind when trying to make it work. This particular design is wet on dry, or almost dry. This creates separation. See how the icing doesn't fall into the other icing? That's because there's a crusted, dried layer on the top. Not crust in a bad way, crust in yummy, royal icing way. Do you remember those Christmas cookies we were making before? This is how they turned out. You know, you can see the line, but we're covering it up with icing. Voila! And here we go with our finished cookies. You guys, these are so imperfect. And some of them I didn't show the extra steps because I wasn't happy with them. But hey, they're edible. People will love them. Now see that little smudge? Yeah, we don't like that. I went over those and had a little oops. But that's okay. Look, I accidentally touched that one before it was fully dry. But it's okay. My husband loved them. He ate them and they were delicious. Your people will love these too. Now, I'm definitely not suggesting you go into this trying to mess up, but just know that if you do, it's okay. Like, we all start somewhere, and at the end of the day, you know, you made some pretty awesome cookies. I mean, let's be real about it. They're pretty cool. <laughs> Don't forget, subscribe, comment, like, follow, all that good stuff. I, um, I really look forward to your feedback, so bring it on over.